sending out the links and setting up. Right, okay. So this is my first time actually loading up the Master League in the new version of the game. I've spent most of my time so far just making some edits. It's gonna have to be Maradona here. Um, I'll just check for you once we get in here. This is quite a bit different. Guess we'll just set everything. Maybe, maybe go for a large budget. Actually, could do with a few players. Uh, annual. And I'll go weekly. Pro twelve minutes. Fucking yen. Get it in pounds. Uh, I once this loads up, I'll go into the edit mode now. Have a look out. I know Scott Bain certainly has been added, but that was the only Celtic player so far. Although there is supposed to be face updates coming with a day one patch on Tuesday, so there is a chance that you maybe get some more then, but I wouldn't hold my breath. This is quite cool. It's obviously stuff you're going to skip after the first time, but... I uh, see, all this stuff's pretty cool. Right, here we go. I'll go in first and look for the new faces in the SPL. After whatever this is. See, I wonder if we have to set season objectives ourselves. Sixth position in the Premier League. I right, go for it. Obviously normally here I think there would be some music in the background but I've had to mute it for copyright reasons. Right, let's just skip this just now. So this is back to a very familiar cutscene from last year, except with Big Diego at the helm. Mm. 
Will you adapt a small budget? Um, no. I'll be spending all the money. What style of football do you want to play? Put on a show. Right, okay. So, I had seen some screenshots of this. So I do like the new menu. It's a much better, much better layout. It looks a lot cleaner. I also don't know what I'm doing with it right enough. Um, how do I... How do I get into... Alright, just so use the left stick to go through this, so team management negotiations, advanced search, uh, club teams, oh, like I say I don't think there has been much change in the SPL, is there anyone in particular, any particular team you want me to go through or is it just have a quick search of it. You can let me know. In the meantime, I'll show you... See, basically for Celtic, what I've done is I've used the base copy feature to do some of the Celtic faces. They don't look perfect by any means, but I was just going for at a distance, them to look not too bad. Um, the only one I've noticed is Scott Bain, but like I say, I did go in and there will be much better ones than this to use, but I just, for the sake of this stream, I just did it quickly. So for Mikey Johnson, I base copied, I think it was a boy from Marseille. Um, for Beaton, I did uh, Spinoza from Juventus. Um, I used Insigne for Greg Taylor. I used Fabinho for Julian. Onyekuru for Ball and Goalie. And Benatia for El Hamid. Like I say, it's not perfect, but better than nothing and at a distance it, it looks a bit different um but yeah hopefully there's a day one as i said there's a day one patch coming on tuesday so perhaps we might get some more then if we're lucky uh, right how do we advance time Actually, who can we bring in first? Right, what do we need? Uh, don't use. I do not want to play a 4 5 1. Going for a. I tend to like to play a 4 3 3. Counter attack, short, flat, wide, flexible, support range. This is if these tactics work as well as they did last year. And hug the touch line. Right, we'll try with that. So, Forster, El Hamid, Julian, Ayer, Taylor, bump these two up, make them central midfielders. bit 
more of a flat 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, Johnston, Edward, Forrest. Right, so some signings. Useful players will stick to the top. And then we'll see what we need. Right, that's pretty much our useful players there. So... Probably another right winger. Uh, ah, he's not been updated. He's pretty poor. I think we'll be getting into the edit mode with him before long. But I've not had time so far. Um, Christ, we need quite a bit. Not a huge fan of Griffiths, so maybe another striker. Another right winger. Another centre, but fucking hell. I need quite a lot, actually. Wouldn't trust Simonovic either. Uh, although, he's going to have to bump up here now because he's about the best we've got. Right, so, let's have a look at the budget. Negotiations. 170 million. Pretty good. Pretty good. Peter Law's obviously landed in his head. Right, who could we get? I'm hoping the transfer system's been updated quite a lot. But we shall see. Um I wonder, I wonder. Right, let's start with a centre back. Twenty seven. To listed players. Uh, let's see how the transfer negotiations work this year. Does he have any interest in coming? Doesn't tell you. The club is resistant in part and ways. Continue negotiations will be an uphill struggle. Okay. Um I should have come in. I should have been thinking about this earlier and come in with some ideas. Uh, who do we want? As far as another midfielder since I haven't done all the updates yet for Hena will still be kicking about, he's always pretty handy I'm not going to want to sell him either right so that's his release clause, 33 million I've got 170 though so that's not actually too bad uh, 3 year deal He's not impressed with a contract offer, we need to propose a more lucrative deal. Right, so it looks like it actually might be harder to sign players this time, which is actually pretty good. Uh, 
Right, it doesn't look like there's any way that I can sweeten the deal for him, which is not the best. Um, fuck, who could I get? Be worth trying to get Benkovic back. Thirty one million. At least it says he'd welcome a move to the club. Fucking hell, how much money do they want? Forty two million release. Twenty two and a seventy nine overall, so he is actually pretty good to be fair. That is a fucking hell of a fee, but moving. Uh, a winger. A right winger. What about... What about Cornet? It looks like it might actually be an idea, first of all, to see if you can impress the player, but a sideways dealing. I see, I can only offer him so much, despite having money. Right, let's just, we we'll advance time just now, we'll see how that first bit of business goes. Guessing this is going to go pretty well. Uh, messages. He's accepted our offer. All you need to do is sign a deal, and he's one of us. Good. How'd I do that? Is it still the same as it was before? Ah, yeah, so this hasn't changed then. Okay, so. Right, accept that. Oh, we got a wee clap, that's nice. Somebody's happy with us. Uh, maybe set up some scouting here because I've totally drawn a blank. Bolster weak spots. Consider the budget. Focus on overall rating. <laughs> I'm a wee bit late for that, eh? I should have flipping signed him a year ago. I'm still raging about that. Um, see, it's not the worst team. It's just the depth. Rogic's overall is pretty good, but if it's anything like last year, he was... I don't know what it was about him, he was just useless, he was totally immobile. What about... Justin Cliver? He's at... Roma? I think it's Roma. Aye. Let's see if he's interested. He would welcome a move to the club. That's a start. 32 million, but... Fuck it, I'm not going to be doing this Master League for long, so I think I'll just do this to get a couple of signings in the door. So we can get started in an actual game. Um, yes. Right, so... We've brought in a defender, a right winger, 
Uh, what about? Wonder if it still works the same with free agents. Do we have to? So you do still have to pay a fee. This is a bizarre one, that, but I suppose they have to do something so you can't just go in and hoover up all the free agents, but it's a bit of a bizarre one. Um, So that would be three. Right, we'll get started at that. I've only actually played one game of this since since I got it through um, the final version. But I've actually so f well from the one game I actually prefer the gameplay in the final version to the demo so far but also again there's a day one patch coming and it says in it that it's going to it's got gameplay alterations so I'm a bit concerned about that um, yeah, let's just keep skipping for all time here and get into a match It's a bit weird that when it comes back here that obviously you've got a wee dot above there to tell you that there is something, but there's nothing really coming up outlining to you or you've got a successful transfer negotiation. You think there could be some sort of pop-up or something? The wee clap will have to do. Right. Probably the one place that I'm not weak is left back at the moment. Um, ah, fuck it, let's just keep going. Have a wee bit of time. If the first game or two goes horrifically bad, we can always come in and buy a few more players. But for now, we shall proceed. The FIFA tw uh, the FIFA youth system is definitely uh, better than than PES. To be honest, most of the most things are, but um, apart from the gameplay, and to me, like I spend most of this game playing it, and that's why I end up playing PES more. But the ma the career mode in FIFA is it's feature wise it's really good um, I didn't get a chance I was going to put Bauer in but uh, I was running out of time I basically I was working earlier today and then I spent some time in edit mode just putting players in trying to get faces to match and uh, I just ran out of time um, I'm going to do a little bit of this Master League tonight and then there's every chance by the time I stream tomorrow it could be a different Master League because I'm going to go in and try and find better faces for all the players I didn't get a chance to do We Den Belly or anything. Because I was too busy importing kits and changing teams and finding faces. Imagine Maradona actually became 
the manager of Celtic, Glasgow would m destroy that man. Uh, I might use him. I've not decided yet. First game is at home to Watford. Could be worse. State of that, Man United have signed <laughs> Chesney. <laughs> Jesus Christ, times are tough. Um, I do only have one right back actually. I never actually thought of the fact that I only have one. <laughs> well, I mean, I've not played FIFA 20 yet, so I can't, uh, I can't say too much. But uh, certainly the last couple of years I've found the PES gameplay vastly better, which is the reason I've played it. Um, no, Mikey Johnson so far doesn't have a face. Um, it's just, uh, he, I mean, he does in my game, but it's basically because I've base copied a face of uh, a Marseille player, just to make it look a bit more realistic. I mean, the face doesn't match, but it's it's closer. I'll show you what I've done. I've just changed it to that. It makes it it's a wee bit better. Um, I was saying earlier at the beginning of the stream, the only player that does have a, f for Celtic, that does have a face that didn't earlier is Scott Bain. He's got quite a good scan. Other than that, it's, it's just the same as it was last year, but there is a day one patch coming that says it's bringing faces. Now, whether it brings Celtic faces, probably unlikely, but it certainly is supposed to be bringing some. Uh, right. I think we'll just have beat on... Ah, I need to sign another central midfielder here, I think. Logic. Go with that just now. Proceed. I tried to go in before I started this and do. Oh, that's a nice new scene. See again, these cutscenes. I mean, they're great. Like, I, I think it's a nice touch, but you know that after the first three times you see it, you're just going to be skip, skip, skip. It's it's good stuff to add in, but you're not going to watch it over and over again. Um, yeah, I did do some of the transfers. I tried to do some of the sort of biggest European transfers, but I didn't bother going through team by team because the update comes out on Thursday, and it's just going to be too much hassle. Like if somebody's going to. Konami are going to do it on Thursday, I'm not going to spend a full day doing it, so I went in and did the sort of biggest ones and what was needed and left it at that. Uh, yep, okay. Right, let's get started then. Well, it is that special time of the year where everyone starts as equals. Far back in the distance, memories of last season, positions and points tallies on the last day. That's all now irrelevant. It is all about the ultimate prize that lies a long way ahead. That buoyant feeling is here. You start, fresh hope. It took them the long enough to, to release it, the but they have done a cracking job with Celtic Park. Well, 
was 1892 when Celtic played here for the first time. It looks a little different now, but the scenes are epic as they have been through the generations. That's a new bit of commentary there. The one game that I did play earlier on, I did notice a bit of, a bit of new commentary. But there's still plenty of familiarity about it. That Insignia face for Greg Taylor actually looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that one. The rest of them are a bit suspect, but... But the Greg Taylor one's pretty good. So everybody starts on nothing. Last season is in the past. We are all equals. Yes, Peter, and I believe that year on year the game is going from strength to strength. It's impossible for that not to happen because of increasing wealth that attracts the best talent and management and of course greater expectation the boundaries have to continue being stretched into the limit supporters have an insatiable appetite to want more I do like the new camera and entertainment but so let the show begin a little bit too far out for me so let's bring it in a bit dip the height a wee bit see how done that so off we go then. Well, there's always this great sense of excitement when there's a new boss at the club. The, the pre-match press conference was terrific. First time we really had the chance to, to hear what he has to say about his ambitions. Yeah, we're getting a real buzz, aren't we? I, I think he certainly managed to come across as someone who is very ambitious. I thought he, he put his points across extremely eloquently and very well in talking about his plans for the future. So now he just needs to get off to a, a good start. Yeah, that's certainly all new commentary talking about the press conferences and stuff like that. I love the animation, Pez. I really do think it. They do a really good job of it. It's obviously the odd bit that suffers, but on the whole. Up it in. And he's straight offside. For most of uh, PES 19, I played on PC with a lot of mods involved, and it's, it, it's it can be hard going back to playing on a on a console. Um, just little things that make a massive difference, like the PC can import ad boards, so when you play at Celtic Park it's the proper ad boards, and it's something that you would think would make no difference at all, but it's, it's huge when you're actually playing it. And the grass, the grass does look better this year, but it's a free kick. Uh, aye, the grass does look better this year, but the grass mods you get in PC are just different class. Yeah, it does look like they've added a bit. They've done a bit of a chance. Again, it's something I never picked up on there because like, last year I'd put a chant pack, added on, ball situation of the game. and uh, every time in the game had to. But well spotted. Right. Let's see what we can do here. He's gone direct! Nah. Just a little bit off. Based off that, free kicks seem a lot like last year. Ah, oh, come on. Bit off try. Oh, maybe it was one of those moments when he just caught it too well. Eddie went close twice. Again, something minor there, but it was a lot more of a thud off the bar. That was something I noticed last year. The, Loses his balance the woodwork didn't really seem to make that much of a noise when you hit it. And it's grey. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Jesus. And they're not going to make any further progress now. To the left it goes. Nothing but a skill there. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. The, the defending seems a lot tighter. Goes for goal! That's the night. But there doesn't seem to be as much opening. Which is good, I like. It's one thing the things I like about Pez is that you need to build up the play and sort of knock it about and look for That's surely a foul free kick. Look for opportunities. Still getting used to this skill stick with the right, the right analog stick. But um, when I made it work in the demo, I loved it. I think it's a great addition. It's one of these things where you, once you start playing with it, you're like, how did no one do that before? Torreira. Capu. I do notice a couple of funny, like I, I like this camera angle, but it's, I feel like sometimes it interprets passes a bit strangely. I don't know if anyone noticed that from the demo, but just a few times you would try and play a pass forward and instead you would play it at the wrong angle. Into the box. Catch that. Crosses it in. Towering header. Oh, come on. And bits like this, like, that camera has to catch up with that. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Like, I'm sitting there in control of the ball for about three seconds and I can't see anything. I don't know whether it's worth maybe changing it. That Michael Johnson face, it's not awful. Um. Let's try that for a little bit, see if it makes a difference gameplay wise. Quick pull forward. But at the expense of a corner. We can do the same bit of damage here. Gets up to head it! Oh. Hit with his head, but couldn't steer it in. The defence did James very Forrest well to be able the first head of his Numbers like that, they basically suffocated his hopes. Offside. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Bastard. Get a first touch from Brown now. Played down the flank. Played it in with a header. Yeah. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Gets it back. He's gone for it. Oh, oh that's a fine save. It. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. It's nice collision physics there. Oh, good interception. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape Jesus. was a giveaway before what he made the, the pass. Fuck was that? And it's obviously great. Oh, it's really a bit of awkwardness great. with the player changing there. Of 
course it's the beginning of a master league so you will get some awkward passing until your team chemistry gets up. What the fuck? Referee's given a throw. It's a bit strange there, as if Johnson didn't activate until after that pass happened. I've done a good job of keeping McGregor on his right foot there. Who goes looking? There's the end of the first half. half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Celtic should be well in front based on the number of chances they've had. And you can sense a little anxiety around the stadium for fear that this game might just yeah, get we'll a little away same from them. First 10, 15 so minutes. they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. Probably early in the same back from your break. You've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Although Edwards and Celtic Wales just can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up. Got the goal yet. With urgency and purpose, and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Fight is good enough for that challenge. Diving bastard. Yeah, the grass and the pitch does look better this year. It's still a bit yellowy. I feel that's... I think Shall it's probably a bit to do with the lighting right enough. The lighting's a wee bit weird in this, this year's game. And here's Roberto Pereira. He could be chance! Jesus. Balls, and they've been caught out here. It's broken loose. He battered them for 45 Holmes minutes now. I'm about to go... I've <sighs> gone no, down. Oh, he's got that completely wrong. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Oh, look at that. The lighting's a bit weird, isn't it? Just, it almost looks like the brightness or something's up too much. I don't know. It just looks odd. On the plus side, that is something that might be easily fixed. In the settings, but it shouldn't have to be. Big chance! Oof! Look at that. And again, the keeper stands strong. Well, look, believe me when I tell you that goalkeepers work harder nice than anyone else short, in training, yeah. and that's why to be top class on match day, that was a majestic stop. Oh, he's got his part of the short, uh, the save. Come on! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. How is none of these fucking corners went the net? Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And they continue each to cancel the other out. Plays it out to the flank. Hit into the middle. It's a brilliant interception. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. That needed to end with efficiency and incision, and we got neither. Well, we're still waiting for the first That's goal of the season. 61,000 there. So That's much has happened in this game, but goals. still no goal. Yes, and it's been far they from uneventful. We've had a the healthy amount of attempts at goal from both teams, and with this kind of ambition, you may not have to wait too long. Tries a shot! Oh. Whipped in. It's always going right. to be the keepers. Let's get some subs on. Because it's not happening here. Pull some on. And Cliver, we'll go Cliver. 
Oh, the second bit of the fuck Celtic really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. What a throw Not in. alive enough. Celtic can make their change now with uh, a break in play. So here he is, making his first appearance in new colours. Oh, we peg. <sighs> that's been beautiful if that went in. That's not going to make it. De La Feu. Over to the left. He's got away. Shit. Here it is. Going for goal. Well done. Plays it out to the wing. Taylor proving he's worth there. Shots seem a lot better. Oh, they look more impressive anyway. I've not actually netted one of them yet, to be fair. Take that in. That is a shot. I'm going to have to cross that. looking to get on the end of. Up he gets! Should hopefully get another one now that they'll actually have to pass. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met. It really was. I would just like to point out my tactical expertise there as one substitute plays it to a second substitute and scores the vital goal. I thought that would be the vital goal. Let's make it pump 2 1 now. Right. I think what we'll actually do is bring Beat on on instead. And just show it up a wee bit. Try and hit them in the counter. There's going to be another change here. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves Just extremely change well. Change from a attacking formation down to Gray. neutral. De La Feu. Now it's Pereira. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. It's a risky pass that one. Jesus. Fuck. Oh, well intercepted. <laughs> really Ran to absolutely the nowhere danger. there. There's a real appetite from them too. <laughs> and he has been fouled there. That was exactly like McGregor's tackle at Ibrox. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Except he actually got a book in that time. That was not a good tackle at all. Four years late. De La Feu. That is terrific skill. Get off him. Strength of that boy. And well again, they run up against stubborn defending. Over the butt. Peter, yes. they have to fight the onset. Of touch. Face to face with the, and the shot. Oh, no. Good save. Keeper read that well. I actually fancied it to score them, but we should give the keeper credit for, for doing Going his for bit. That shot. Oh, gosh. Celtic can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. I think I need to be a bit better at passing to run a clock down. Just brushed off the ball there. 
Don't, don't, don't. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Really well taken goal. Dirty break of the ball, bastards. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That looked like a good tackle as well, and then he just doesn't get a break of the ball. Don't know what the fuck that is. All square again into the dying minutes. Looks to think on it. What the fuck? Well, that's, that's well there. Alert. Right, let's go and attack again. Time added on will be two minutes. Oh no! It's <laughs> a great ball through. Scott Brown fucking laboured them to the box. All things considered, a pretty good point. Your reflections, then, Jim. Both managers may not admit it. It's interesting there, though, because even more so than last year, it looked like fatigue is a thing. Because I was so trying to make McGregor to sprint there, here. and he was for none of it. Well, he thanks could for coming, Jim, and a very good day to you. So if that's the case, that's quite good. The state of those stats managed to beat them. It's disappointing. Let's check the results. Liverpool win, Chelsea win, Man United win, Villa win. Rangers beat Wolves. <laughs> they should add an empty Ibrook Stadium as free DLC. Now let's see who we've got next. The iPad says the fans were happy with the first result. Fucking expectations are a bit low, though. Should have been horsing them. So next up, we've got Liverpool at Rose Park Stadium because they are no longer a, a partner club. I want ten million. I feel like I need to buy a midfielder because on the bench for that first game, I had a defensive midfielder and two attacking midfielders. I know Christie can play in the centre, but. I feel like I need another central mid. Beaton's quite handy because he can obviously be on the bench as a midfielder or a defender, but he's only taking up one space. So he's handy to have around. Let's see who we can get. wonder if we could get Frank Casey probably not he 
you would welcome a move, so that's good. So we can get him for 34 million. Let's put the bid in. Because another good one's always Renato Sanchez, although he, his stats won't be anywhere near as high. I think he's only about 76 now after his disastrous last few years. Is it on a 79? Let's see what the script of him is. I may as well take them both of them if he's only going to cost 14. Fuck it, I'll take the two of them. I'm going to be ready for this Liverpool game, there's the problem. I tell you, they don't get the credit for it, but Pez do a really good job with faces and tattoos. Like, I just noticed from Al Sanchez that he's got a tattoo on his left arm. Like, if you are a partner club, they, they do do a great job. And it's an excellent job. With, I mean, look at that. They're, the problem is that their, their standard faces are garbage, but their actual scanned faces, the ones that have been done in the last year or two, that like you do get a few horrific ones. But I noticed they had even done Davies. Who he wasn't done in the demo, but he's obviously he's obviously been done now. In fact, that makes me think one of the worst scans for years now has been Serge Aurier. He looks like he's been stung by about a thousand wasps. I wonder if that's finally been upgraded. I can't believe he's not had a word with him. If if it was me, I would honestly, as a professional football player, have went and offered to pay for the scan myself, just to get it, just to get this thing updated. Where is he? No, they haven't. Look at the state of that. Jesus, man. I mean, you look at that with Aurier next to, say, Ndombele. It's <laughs> mental. <laughs> what is signed Areola? That was a weird deal, actually. That, uh, in real life, sorry, that Areola doing a straight swap with the boy at Real Madrid. Real Madrid get the best and better of that deal. Um. Right, let's go. Let's go and see what we can do against Liverpool. I noticed this followers thing down on the lower right hand side. I wonder. How much of an impact that makes. Let's go to the next match. And I think we'll just keep the same lineup. Actually, we'll maybe start Pilsen. Oh, they've signed and sent you. Great. Two, what's the fucking chances? Two guys with the same face now.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of yeah, other factors, of fun. course. Principally, each side's concern Although, the strengths I do find a lot of the time in these games that because Liverpool are going to come out and attack, it sometimes it actually makes it easier. To the game. Like Watford so prestige, who weren't so interested until they went a goal down. So much passion whenever football is played here. And already we're underway here. Although in PES 19, certainly Liverpool were a nightmare to play against Celtic because they made a reasonable start to the for season. 90 minutes. Score, first up. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's come loose. Go on. Oh dear. Try to be too cute Ryan there. Eldon drives it forward. Shit. Oxlade Chamberlain gets it back. Well done. And the through ball ah. is intercepted. See they're closing down all over the place. Doubling up at some points as well. Fucking no out ball. Oh. Has a goal! oh my god, that's a hospital shot that. Get the a fair even gaps at the back. Looks to clip it forward. Away from immediate danger. Now the counter. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a Jesus. move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. <laughs> Lovely bit of skill. Oxlade Chamberlain. What? Yes, oh, they right. give a penalty there. Be quite dangerous playing this short, I think. Can't wait with that one. Oh! Looking to force his oh way through. He's going to lob him there again. Fabinho finds himself eased off the real chance. Oh no, I save! Fine, Alden. Yes, I can slip but Insigne hits that long. Well read, he sorted This is cat and mouse stuff this. Because they're pressing high and they're either gonna catch me in the press or I'm gonna play through them. I've nearly scored twice. Fuck it is. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Brendan Rogers suicide football here. Switch it. Kit Brown steaming forward. Gorgeous control there. Ah. Robertson placed it clear. Side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Out towards the flank. Crosses one it up for the header. Oh dear, that's terrible. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. You had a lot of time. Ah, I don't know if it's obvious when watching it, but when playing it, you can tell that you're playing the first couple of games of a Master League because the team, they're not flowing 
as well as they will in a couple of months. But that's the beauty of the mode to me. There's a lot of misplaced passes and just once you play with the same team in Master League for a couple of months and in, in game sorry for a couple of months they always need like one touch less. Once you get the chemistry in the probably the eighties. It's still a possession this, but very little to show for it. And it's played forward. Nicely measured pass. Big chance! Oh, oh the keeper's done ever so well. Well you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Shot actually. See Liverpool are pressing up so high that they've almost not got a midfield. So if I can just bypass that, I'm pretty much through. Keeper's ball. Sneaky suspicion I'm gonna get caught with my pants down at the back here. Big Julian rooted to the spot there. He's had a goal. Yeah, there it is. It's Son of a bitch. First blood draw. You get in the bin. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? You tell them, Diego. It's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant What was Julian doing there, man? He'd fucking dropped a tenner or something. Good finish right enough. That's a good finish. Liverpool Aye, I'll just decide to sit and watch him. Still a fragile lead though. They can't afford oh, to sit on this. I just popped it straight over the top. Let go. Good ball goes for goal! It's their turn to put suicide defending. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. I thought he was going to free kick against me there. Absolutely. A really no good move from him. Played out offside. to the right. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Problem here is that Liverpool are a bit better at defending. Corners. The goalkeeper goal actually comes out great. for the ball. Coulson. Hit long and oh, direct. That's terrible. Keeper's got good distance on that. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? The first 45 minutes. Mm. Oh. So there you have it. Not great. Half of football. Fucking dominated again. Ultimately produced just one goal. Like goals coming. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence. Oh, you yes, sneaky bastard! You. Well, the action has already oh, resumed. If I just won it back there. I could have just slipped it in. Celtic need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can overstep. Oh. Delivery. Oh right, so they've just switched to attacking fullbacks. So there's going to be lots of space wide. So let's. Uh -oh. Exploit that. Referee's given a throw. Right, pick it up. Oh my god, what's he doing? Oh, well Get up! That had to be done. It's 
get in. Everyone to celebrate in front of them. That's it, cup your hand. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Nice to be outside and of the foot from Forrest. Finishing right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Just as well he scored after that fucking header to nobody. Celtic grab the equaliser and we're all square. And he has oh, come on. There. And no surprise, that's a booking. Don't know about that. <sighs> Looks like he get the ball. Maybe it's for recklessness. Now it's Mohamed Salah. A chance to play it in. Get him in your pocket, Taylor. Well done. Oh, that's clearly not Jesus. what he wants to do. Mohamed Salah. Oh, no. A chance! He's missed, but not by that far. Just as well. Origi certainly could have and should have made more of that. Scott Brown doing Scott Brown things there. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quietening him down there. Striding forward, facing goal. Johnson's been quiet. I'm going to have to bring him off. And the shot! <laughs> That's wild. A real chance at a oh, he's not happy, off. the big man. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it happy wasn't the worst decision finished. he could have made. And big Diego is fuming. Uh, right, Johnson's done fuck all. So let's get Elianus. Aye. And let's bring Christy on. Time for a change in personnel. Two changes being made right now. Obviously, after this game, we're going to have a lot more options in midfield. I never really spoke about it at the time, but when we first turned the Master League on, been able to sort of choose how big a budget you want. Good I really challenge. like that. Just stood firm. Uh, obviously, for and this Mohammed Master Salah. League, I chose a Origi. large one, which is not something I would always do. Actually, I like the challenge, but it's nice Looking to be able Origi. to have the option. Big relief. It just needed better contact. I think he still deserves a good right for making his way through. It was a, it was a really just run. taking the pass. Pressing forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even One more. One of those little cute passes gets through, and they're in a lot of trouble. Fuck off. Cut out in the nick of time. Chooses to go back. No, I didn't. I did not. I tried to play the ball forward and it fucking played it back. Out to the right. Oh! And a header! Get Gets good distance on it. Has a hit! Yes! Goal! And the game 
is well and truly turned on its head. That team can do fuck all on top of that. That really is so so impressive. And when the manager Bond. called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fake. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Yeah, let's check the energy levels. Let's see my day. Let's bring live on for the last twenty. That Julian uh, using Fabinho's so face, take, it's, it's take not working. Lead. Yeah, they deserve great mm, credit for turning one. things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Liverpool can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. That's a promising ball. Up he gets! Oh my god. Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your How chances did of not hit being that? met like that by someone. Completely missed it. <laughs> the Liverpool press has increased. But there's always a way. Unfortunately, my team is not good enough to hold possession here. Hoist it high. Oh, go on. Let's chase them in. Pressure stays on. It is a corner. I'm reluctant to bring on Beaton to try and show this up again this time after how badly it worked out the last time. But it is my first instinct. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Well, maybe I just try and get another one since Liverpool are coming right at me. He came in hard, Ooh. very hard. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. He watches my yellow. Nice turn. He's picked him out. Behind. There are a few waiting for it. Lovely bit of skill there. Oh, well, that's a foul, <laughs> and the whistle's gone. I won that. That's from behind, ref. Get him off. And that's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. That's how you make a tackle look worse than it is. He's got a chance from here, but not the kindest angle. So, who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available. Oh. Right, he's there, and he can get that clear. The final five minutes. A famous win, all but confirmed. They just need to hold on for a few more minutes. All but confirmed. Fuck off, you. Don't need that kind of pressure. It's just the question of running down the clock now. Uh oh, uh oh. Always oh, Scott Brown. Steal. Well played. He's Fuck through. It. He's on the back foot. Oh my god! Shut it down. Fucking hell. I've no control over any of that. That's horrific. So he's a four stamped it well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow up. 
That almost feels like AI collusion. Literally couldn't do anything. He's just running alongside the ball. That's horrific. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to Aye, decide, that's worrying. and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Beaten. I know where I've made three changes. I don't know. All square again into the dying minutes. Yeah, I'm usually quite happy with Pez's responsiveness, but Forward that it goes. was rough. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Tilson. Five Mane. minutes added on. He's played him through. And well, this is Mane. Mane. I'm gonna put on a loser. Oh my He's god! That is two stinking goals right at the end. Yeah, we'll do one more match. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, that was an exercise in teamwork, cohesion, and, and doggedness, Peter. A refusal to accept defeat. We've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me. like some sort of bad dream. Look at Rangers up there. Five goals scored, none conceded. Big Alfredo. No doubt running the show. million for Griffiths, that's not bad. Alright, both those in. Give us more energy in the middle of the park. Signed a headless player for a second there, I didn't realise it was a mannequin. I guess I keep saying chapter one, as in season one, or a bit weird. Um. I think we need a right back. There's only one right back in the team just now. Because I have not created from Pong. I'll be back in a second, I just need to go and feed my cat and I'll have a think about who we should maybe buy.
Right, okay, I'm back. Um, who could we sign? A decent right back. Teddy's pretty good, I don't know if we'll be able to get him though. See what the script does. He's not impressed and the club are not happy. So that's unlikely to go ahead. Um, let's just do Search. Uh, I want at least seventy seven. Uh, I want them to have all right dribbling. Fairly quick. Eighty. Eighty. Right. Overall rating in ascending order because we're only going to get someone I would imagine on the low end of the scale. Also, only sign players who have scanned faces. It's a shame, he'd be a good signing, but I don't have the money required. I'm guessing, the freeze is excellent, but I'm guessing we do not have... Uh, the club want more than 43 million. Jesus fuck. Um, can he play left back? Eh, uh, right back, sorry. Hmm. Where's this boy? 24. I don't know. I don't know, we need somebody but maybe I need to lower this a wee bit. Because we could Dalit's only twenty, we could take him. No, they're not impressed. Uh That did not really open up many players, did it? What about Maitland Niles? He would welcome a move. And we could get him for 9 million. It's not bad. Let's do that. At least it's job done.
annoying they've still got this you've got like 15 hours and it's 3 hours per negotiation or whatever it's a system that's badly needing upgraded it costs 2 hours to do business No, chapter two. My Celtic mug. Yeah, let's let him go. Right, we don't badly need anyone else, we'll just close the window and move on to the third game. So far I'm quite I'm fairly happy with Master League. It's not massively different but it, it's been upgraded. There is there is changes there. Um to be honest, probably more than what I thought. I really like this new menu. It's a shame that all the menus those subsequent menus and behind it are the same. Um but at least this is different, it looks a bit different. It's one of the things that kills me about FIFA, that career mode in FIFA has looked the exact fucking same for about 8 years. And it just feels like you're playing the same thing over and over and over. No, we don't need any of them. So, we've got Chelsea at home, then Man United away. Christ, Liverpool, Chelsea, then Man U. Right. Game plan. Thinking of giving... Mm, better not. It's going to try bat ball and goalie at left back, but it's dropping the team chemistry by seven, which I can't afford to do. Benkovic would up it. But I like Ayer. The fuck, I would do it for this one game. Um, bring Renato Sanchez in. And should we start Cliver? Johnson did nothing the last game, so no, I think we should start Maitland Niles. So overall is less in that position, but it's putting the team chemistry up, which does make a massive difference. Aye, let's go with that. Uh, Captain McGregor. Right, let's try that. Make sure that I set the subs up properly. Yep. That's me just realised that the one big transfer of the summer that I missed was Hazard to Real Madrid. Looks like they've signed Sani. So 
So obviously the transfer ban wasn't active in this game. Imagine they did put that in though. This year, whenever you go Chelsea, you just can't sign anybody for a season. All the Chelsea fans raging with the situation. Well, good afternoon to you. Things had been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead up to this game, but as you can see, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain. And that is that both teams contemplating very different challenges. It's almost old style. Understandable looks of concern on the faces. Of Sanchez on it with the number players seven. Players I realise I forgot alike. to. Well, it was 1892 when Celtic played here for the first time. It looks numbers. a little different now, but the scenes are epic as they have been through the generations. And that gets things running. Renato Sanchez is making his first appearance for his new team today. What can we look forward to seeing from him, Jim? Look, Peter, there aren't that many players who can contribute equally in both attack and defence, but oh. this fella's one of them. What's more, he's one of those guys who seems to play the game at his own pace. And that sort of, of calmness is really infectious. It spreads. Celtic dealing with Jesus. this determinate start. Both games drawn so far. He's made sure that that won't get through. Ah, oh. we're not going to make any further progress now. Oh, David Luiz as well, and overmoved him. That's our little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Yes. He's through the middle. It's one. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence no, there. A magnificent effort. Clive Hurt. Oh. Now it's Shiru. Very cheeky turn. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. Don't get done, don't get done. Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Out to the right. Renato Sanchez. Ah. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open that's up better. many possibilities. Now it's Sane. And it's Sane. Just brushed off the ball there. Celtic. I'm still me off the back of that I'm still making up my mind about the draw. gameplay here. It's. I think in a lot of ways it's better, but and this could goal. be to do with Master League uh, and the team chemistry, but it does not flow as well as last year, or certainly, and I don't think last year flew oh, as well as 2018. I think last year ended up a better game, but I don't think the gameplay flowed as well, and it seems even less fluent just now. But then there's, there's updates David that Lewis. make me think it is better overall. Cahill that makes sense. To get it forward but it Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, damn it. Gets good distance on it. Now it's Giroud. Ball through needs to be good here. You fuck off, Isard. You're not even supposed to be here. Now it's Giroud. Giroud! <laughs> oh, just lacked a decent finish. Okay, it's come to do. nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Oh dear. Dinks one in. That intervention was very necessary. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only... Has a pop! Oh. oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Stop. 
boys just for a second while I let the cat out. Move it back. Let's see if we can find a score from a corner here. Oh, jeez, how many times? And he's there to hoof it away. Dig. He's gone for goal. <laughs> oh, he's missed it. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. The shot of a man hitting his first. Outside of the box, don't know ever. Got to hit them when Caballero's in next. Clivert. Giroud. Nicely measured pass. He could be in. Shapes the shoots! Yeah. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez yeah. spreads it towards the left. Ah. No, it's don't. Broke. He'll try from distance. Shh. Tried to back out of that shot. Sure. Off target. He's never yeah, going to another him. occasion. All the red wrong. Make him right. Starting to. It's starting to flow. The game's the gameplay's starting to flow a lot more now. Coincidentally, obviously, when I made some changes to put the team chemistry up to 73, so that back. gives me a lot of confidence that once I get it up into the 80s, that Jesus, Forward it goes. things like that won't happen. Clivert. And the shot! I see the shot. Brief, albeit perhaps momentary. That's pitch. Caballero can claim that. Raspilicueta. And it's Kadira. So nil nil still, but both sides have had their moments. Turns and goes back. Really uh -oh. wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling for it's Giroud! And for a moment, time still. Still. Damn it. Now it's Hazard. Hazard tries to stroke it through. Receives it in a good position. Chelsea have it back and they can go again. Hazard! A great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. That high-class goalkeeper, high-class wage comment. They need to ditch that. It's been in this game for years. It just sounds ridiculous. Hoist it forward. Switch it. And Switch it better. Sane. It's Giroud! Shh. Oh, that is Go rather wayward. To him. Right. The first half is done. So team has broken through. All three games have been nil nil at half time. Then there's been at least two goals in the second half. So we reached the halfway point. What a pleasant surprise to see. I've dominated, but Chelsea have been the closest to turning into just wondering if the two so teams are, are going to keep doing what we've seen in the first half. I hope 
like that, a cautious aspect doesn't kick in. Celtic head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. Let it go, let it go, let it go. We're already back underway here. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? That's open. It has got through to go for goal! Oh, my God. Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. He has missed some chances in these first two games. If it's too early to bring one. Fuck it, let's just get him on. Yusuf. That's a terrible pass. Dink. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, this. Has a hit! And he finally scores. Right, this is coming off. And the second half is off to a flyer. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. And all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful, loved it. Messed a few howlers, but at least he's finally got one. Time for a change in personnel. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he could feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Celtic take the lead. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Celtic display a characteristically strong start to the second half. What? And they hit one! Oh. Appearance is very necessary. Some usually a collective catch them sigh of relief from the defence. Put a pants down like that. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. And it's Sané. Finds himself eased off the ball. Definitely seems like played into the middle. Now look at the goal. Oh come on, get in. It's anyone's ball. What an adventurous run from the has a goal! Oh, fuck you. Big look at that. Jesus. Big relief in. As soon as I pressed that button, I knew that was never gonna end up on the other one. Was vicious. Chelsea are making a change now. A swift reaction then, and the boss opting to reshuffle his defence. Look, only time will tell now if, if this is the right decision, but at least the manager hasn't done it. You know, he's reacted quickly and it needed that. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Ronaldo Sanchez is looking like a good buy. Across the field it goes. Raspilicueta. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. <laughs> and it's played forward. Um, Hazard. It did not work out as expected. Ah, oh, he spotted the run and played him through. Has a pop. Can't do it. 
Oh, that's quite nice with the dot on the top. That's new. Although, finally got a two goal lead, so I don't have to be chasing down every ball with a maniac. Marcos Alonso switches it towards the other side. Hoists it high. Shit. Here it is. He's had a shot. Blocked. You fuck off back from the big deal. Christensen, Christensen plays it forward. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Oh, right. That was not off the ball. Incident. Well, they do have a reputation for leaking goals at this sort of time in the game. They must be on high alert now. We are on high alert. We're aware David that arse has collapsed in the first the two games of the season. Christensen, Kovacic, and it's Sané. Out to the left it goes. Marcos Alonso has it in a wide position. Chance! Oh my and God! It's <laughs> and they are dragging it back. Game it's a on fucking again. magnet when it gets to this time of the game. Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Was he shot going wide? It's fucking spinned into the net. And it's really clear. It's hard to say. Possibly on target anyway. It just feels like an air of inevitability here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case oh, of getting slipped. the balance right between attack and defence. And, and the finish! Oh, what a, a chance when I'm slipping. That was cool though, I've not seen that animation before. I didn't realise they could slip. David Lewis. Bet he's the only one with a slip animation. Just <sighs> don't know what I can do to stop this. Inevitable equaliser. Marcos Alonso plays it short. 
Luis pumps it into the area. Let's get ready. It. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Nathan Niles gets into a dangerous position. Gets the better of his man. Celtic are on the verge of a pretty special win. But they've Shut got up. some hanging on to do here. Now it's Sunny. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box. And if it means a long punt, then so be it. Oh, they've got to give themselves a chance. A terrible pass. Kovacic. Tackle. Oh! If I could have slid that to Johnson. Conte. Chelsea don't have many options, and time is running out. In with the challenge. Time. Get it to fuck. Hoist it forward. Caballero sends that a long way. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Forward it goes. Yes. And that's that. Celtic have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin. Third game, but they finally get a trophy for winning a Master League game. match. And it goes to show that when the motivation and tactics are right, anything is achievable. Thoroughly impressed with this. So before Me we go, too. many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon. Right, I think that'll do us for tonight. We've got a few other things to do, and it's nearly one in the morning, so let's just check the scores. Liverpool win, Man United win, Newcastle win, Leicester win, Palace win, City win, Spurs win, Rangers finally lose, Burnley beat Wolves. So, the team I'm playing next are the only team to have won all three games. Good. Norwich and Waterford. Spinned at the bottom. Cool. Right, well that'll do us for this stream. I will... Oh. Um. Just I'm a Celtic fan, and Cel playing Celtic in the the SPL is just it just doesn't feel like a challenge. So I tend to move Celtic and Rangers into the Premier League. Just to, I know it's not realistic, but I just find it more of a challenge. Sometimes as well, uh, what I do is I alter the full league, so it's a European Super League, and it's basically the whole season's like a Champions League, uh, with obviously transfers and stuff on, just so that I can just so it's more entertaining to be honest. Um, but yeah, that'll be that for this stream today, uh, and this video will be archived on YouTube. Uh, the YouTube is VDZE Media, the same as Twitch, and I'll also be back tomorrow with another stream, probably around about the same time, maybe a wee bit later. Um, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with another stream possibly continue on this master league or if i make enough significant changes then possibly <laughs> yeah it's not fun if you just go the best team like a five-star team it's no fun you need to you need to set yourself a challenge and celtic in the premier league is a challenge i can tell you um i haven't played united yet i'm playing um Next, uh, I'll just double check that. I'm sure I am. Yeah, next game's against Man United at Old Trafford. Yeah, definitely. It's more fun. It's you. You play games for a challenge. Like I think it's. I, I don't want to like 
win the league every year or win every game like you want to you want to feel like you're accomplishing something um but yeah so i'll be back on tomorrow probably at the same time maybe 10 half 10 uh uk time uh we'll play the man united newcastle leicester maybe a few other games as well um and again i'll be about if anyone wants to see certain things in edit mode or anything like that um i'm also on the website which is vdzedemedia.net uh, i'll have links up for option files and details on how to import the option file if you're unaware how to do it that should be going up tomorrow morning and if you're on twitter follow me at v-i-z-u-a-l-d-z-e feel free to interact with me i'll be talking a lot about pez uh, and all the upcoming games over the fall period uh, i got the option file i can just tell you just give me a wee second I got the option file from a guy called Ditto Play on YouTube. I'll post the link here if I can. Uh, if you go to his video in the description, there's a link and hopefully I'm allowed to post this yep if you go to that link and his option file has I'll just show you actually before I sign off this might go black for a second while I save this but I'll just show you Pez World is pretty good, um, but I mean, see, see, honestly, see if you have a USB stick already, use this one and don't, don't pay for it because you can get it for free. Um, I mean, all you need to do on a USB stick is make a folder called WE Pez. I'll, like, I'll have a guide up on how to do it. It's, it's very, very simple. But I'll show you just now the uh, the option file that that chap's made uh, has I don't a PC. Ah, you maybe would have to buy one then. Uh, yeah, it's imported all the Premier League teams, and I mean the quality of the kits, as you'll see, is great. Like he's done a cracking job with them. Um, he's done the Premier League Championship. Let's see there, and also La Liga. So the likes of Real Madrid. There. So and it's all the brand new home and away kits. Uh, all the emblems. Like I say, we need to wait till Thursday, I believe it is, when Pez are going to actually release the the updated transfers. The AI is a lot better. The AI is a lot better, actually. Um, there's a lot more variation than last year. Uh, and it, they're harder to break down which is good. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say the AI is a step up from last year. Um, yeah, I mean, if you played the demo, the gameplay is similar to the demo, but I actually think it's, for the first time in years, the gameplay is actually a little bit better than it was in the demo. Whereas in years gone past, I've played the demo, loved it, the games came out, and I thought, what have they done to it? But this year, I actually think it's an improvement. Um, right, so like I say, I'm going to have to sign off just now, but I will be back tomorrow. Um, feel free to follow the Twitch channel, follow me on YouTube if you want to watch this video back. Uh, and 
yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, probably about 10pm UK time, playing for another 2 or 3 hours, and hopefully I'll talk to you all then. Okay, thanks, bye.